Hello, I would like to publish my paper in your journal. Our journal has very strict requirements. Did you comprehensively check the literature to make sure your results are novel? Yes. Is your paper a completely original work never published anywhere else? Yes. Does your experimental section conform to all of our guidelines? Yes. Does your paper contain a complete bibliography citing all supporting sources? Yes. Has your supporting information been compiled and double-checked? Yes. Are all of your graphics of high enough quality to publish right now? Yes. Have you shown your paper to experts in your field for proofreading? Yes. My entire research group has read it and offered many corrections. It has gone through a complete rewrite as a result. Did you use our required word processing template to prepare your manuscript? Yes. Let me consult the referees. Congratulations. You may publish your paper in our journal. Please sign this copyright transfer form. A what form? A copyright transfer form. Look, I have no idea what you're asking me for. Just tell me in plain English. This form transfers the rights you now have to your paper to us. If I sign this copyright transfer thingy, can I upload my paper to my personal website? No. Can I post my paper with my online CV? No. Can I upload my paper to my department's website? No. Can I reuse the graphics from my paper in the book I am writing? No. How much does it cost to subscribe to your journal? $5,523 per year. Good golly Miss Molly. If someone in my field works at a university that can't afford that kind of price, how will they read my paper? Easy. They can pay us $35. Okay, let me get this straight. I've just spent the last 10 months killing myself and my students in the lab to get the results for this paper. I've written every word of the manuscript myself. I've drawn all of the graphics myself. I've created and formatted all of the tables myself. I did all of the background research and prepared a first-class bibliography. Your referees had nothing terribly important to say about my paper. And now you say that the only way you will publish my paper is for me to allow you to charge an astronomical fee to others for the right to read it. You sound like one of those open access activists. I think we have the answer for you. What is it? We offer an author's choice option. Great. That's what I'll take. Please pay us $1,500. Jumping Jehozy Fat. That is a lot of money. What will I get in exchange for giving you this money? Your paper will be published in our journal. Whether I give you this copyright transfer gizmo or $1,500, all you're going to do is take my paper and post it to your website with some minor corrections. Yes. I could just as easily do that myself for free. Yes, you could. But then you would also have to explain the gap in your publication record to your funding agency. Yikes. You would have to convince your tenure committee that you are not some kind of self-publishing scientific crackpot. No, no. Not that. Your students would have to explain your self-publishing hobby on every job interview they were lucky enough to get. Please, please, make it stop. You would have to watch your competitors leapfrog over you with speaking invitations and new grand money as they continue to enjoy the benefits of publishing in our journal. Oh my goodness. I must be standing next to Tony Soprano himself. The FBI should be investigating your journal for racketeering. You line your pockets through the hard work of thousands of scientists like me while all you do is take our papers and post them to your website. You add huge cost to publicly funded science at the same time budgets are being cut left and right. Your entire business model is based on keeping other scientists and the general public from accessing our papers at a time when religious nut jobs and so-called fiscal conservatives are trying to turn this country into a cross between the 700 Club and American Idol. I'm so mad right now I could throw a marshmallow at you. Do you have a pen?